fine. We hope you all had a great weekend and enjoyed some of this beautiful fall weather. This week though, it is supposed to be a little bit chillier, so please make sure that you're bringing a jacket or sweater in the morning so that you're not chilly outside for recess. And it's hard to believe that we are already in our second month of school. We would like to acknowledge that we're on Treaty 6 territory in the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation. These are the meeting grounds, gathering place, and traveling route to the Cree, Nakota Sioux, Denny, Salto, Blackfoot, and Métis. We acknowledge all the many First Nations Métis and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. We have some updates for you with new recommendations and regulations from the government. We are going back to a similar schedule that we had last year for recess. So we are now going to have five separate areas on our playground and there will only be one class in each area during recess. We have also split our recesses into a division one and a division two recess time. We know that this may be a little bit confusing at first and hard to get used to, but it's okay. We're here to help you through it. So for this week on the South Playground, we'll have kindergarten and four to six G and M. On the South Field, we'll have one A and four Z. On the West Playground, we'll have one two D W and one to three B, as well as five J. On the West Field, we'll have two S and five six B. And on the North Field, we'll have three G and six T. Also, don't forget that the playgrounds are closed before and after school. Our teaching this month focuses on respect. And showing respect is to honor the value of people and things. It includes demonstrating consideration and appreciation of all things living and non-living. You must give respect freely from the goodness of your heart if you wish to be respected. Don't forget to look for ways to demonstrate our seven teachings for a chance to earn a wowzer from your teacher. And speaking of wowzers, this week we have one for Jones in 4 to 6 M for showing respect and love. We have Ainsley in 4 to 6 M for demonstrating wisdom. Oliver in 4 to 6 M for also showing wisdom. We have Gabe in 1A for showing respect. Grayson in 1A for showing respect. Hunter in 1A for showing respect. Kieran in 1A for showing respect. And Ren in 1A for demonstrating respect. And we have one for Carter in 1 to 3B for showing respect and love. Great job, everybody. Coming up this week. So this week, starting today, it is reading week. The theme this year is to each their own story. So we each have our own story to tell, our favorite stories to read, so however you choose to celebrate, remember we are all readers and we look forward to coming to your classrooms to share some of our favorite stories and we know that your teachers have a lot of fun activities planned for you. Ooh, Mrs. Perrin, did you also know that today, October 4th, is National Taco Day? I didn't. Did you know that October the 5th is World Teacher Day as well as National Do Something Nice Day? So those two things really go together. The 6th is Early Dismissal, and it's also National Noodle Day. On the 7th, it is National Frappe Day. And on the 8th, National Pierogi Day. Mm. And on October the 10th, it is World Mental Health Day and National Angel Food Cake Day. Next week on the 11th, there is no school for Thanksgiving. And on Wednesday, October the 13th, it is the Oilers home opener. So we're going to have wear your Oilers outfits or wear something blue and orange. On Monday, October 18th, it is a professional learning day for staff, so there is no school. Still have a few more to go. So our first one, 
Did you know that we have a staff member that is fluent in sign language? She loves Disneyland and Harry Potter and also loves to play video games. Hmm. Can you guess who that is? It's Mrs. Stars. And our next staff member used to be a computer programmer, has been to the top of the pyramid at Chichen Itza, has celebrated Hogmanay in Edinburgh, and loves to get into shenanigans. Who do we think that is? Mm. It is none other than Mrs. Sillers. Wow, Mrs. Sillers, it sounds like you've been on some pretty amazing adventures. Wondering if you saw Braveheart at Edinburgh Castle, though. Ooh. And our last staff member featured this week has some pretty interesting facts about her family. So, this staff member has nine grandchildren. Whoa. Four boys and five girls. She loves to go kayaking at the lake and she used to be a Highland dancer. Hmm. It is Mrs. Fleck and hopefully someday she'll show us some of her Highland dancing moves. Quiz question. Our quiz question last week was, in what year did the last residential school close in Canada? The answer was 1996, and it was the Gordon Residential School in Panicky, Saskatchewan. Oh, and this week's quiz question is, uh, and this one has to do with Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is coming up. So, how much did the largest turkey weigh? How much did the largest turkey weigh? Is it A, 92 pounds? Is it B, 70 pounds? Is it C, 64 pounds? Or D, 86 pounds? All of those are extremely large turkeys. Makes me sleepy just thinking about it. <laughs> We have a couple of jokes for you this week and they all have to do with Thanksgiving. So, what do you call a running turkey? Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a turkey when it's full? Stuffed. And our last one. Which part of the turkey is the most musical? And I bet Mrs. Newton knows this one. It's the drumstick, of course. And don't forget that if you have a joke that you would like to share on WBF TV, please make sure you find Mr. Cunningham or myself, and we will record you saying that joke and feature you on a special episode. Birthdays this week. Congratulations to the following students who are celebrating their birthdays, starting with Scarlett in 5-6-B on the 4th. And we have Dylan in 4-Z on the 6th. Raven in Kindergarten on the 6th. Eve in 4-M on the 7th. Nolan in 1-2-D-W on the 8th. And Briar is celebrating her birthday on the 9th, and she's in 5-J. And Kyle in 4-Z is also celebrating his birthday on the 9th. Happy birthday, everybody. We hope that you enjoyed this week's episode of WBF TV. Don't forget that at the end of this episode, we have some pictures from Orange Shirt Day um, from last week. Have a fabulous week, everybody, and a terrific Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Let's walk the path. Too shoo shwa.
nation The future is in our hands It may take some patience It is our home, it is our land In a lifetime we'll celebrate Who we are like every day There's so much knowledge in the way We live our lives so again